So um, I'm going to talk, talk about st stuttering and work. Um, <laughs> I'm currently in nur 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 nursing school. And um, for, for the su 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 summer, I'm doing an internship at Cornell, the Upper East Side. Um, and I'm wor wor working on a car car cardiac fl fl floor. And um, every sh sh shift, I have about three pa pa patients. Um, and I had my first day last what, Wednesday. Um, and for, for from, from, from the get go, I initially told the like the, the nurse that I'm um, wor working with that I stutter, so, and, and she was, you know, totally okay with it, and like tried to like t like ask me if I was unsure about something or or, or, or like anxious at all, and like and like <laughs> how sh she could help. Um, but then I had the question of sh should I t t t tell my pa patients um, or like how sh should I. T t tell my patients. Um, and, and the first patient that I had um, had just been diagnosed with di 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 diabetes and he was like horrified and confused and scared. Um, and so when I first saw him, he was asking me all these questions, like he was really anxious and he he didn't even, he, he had no idea like ha how to a act and I, I didn't really have um, the, the, the information to make him feel at ease because I'm I'm in school still but my nurse was telling me like helped me I had to talk to him um, and then about halfway about a half an hour in, into our like conversation I decided to tell him that 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 I stutter um, and if he has any issues or if he doesn't understand something to like ask me, 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 me to repeat it I don't be offended at all um, and obviously he's, he's like oh that's fine and then he started asking me about my stuttering, and then the conversation that I was having with him sort of shifted gears, and like I, um, all of a sudden, like I, I was the pa 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 patient in a sense. Um, and he was like, "Is it hard for you in the hospital? Is it scary for you?" Blah blah. And I was like, "Yeah, it can be hard. It can be scary." But I, I but, but but I'm trying to like talk to the people I work like work with about it. Um, so, so we're all sort of on the same page, and then I, and then and then and then after that conversation was over, we started talking about his um, issues, and I, and I kind of found that after we had that conversation, and he um, had kind of switched roles where he felt like maybe he could help m me or he could like r like like re reach out to me, and then he was a lot more willing to be, be a lot more open about his own fears and like his own anxieties um, and then like I'm not really sure what that means but it, it was just cool to kind of like ha have that get given to take with the person who was in a very vulnerable situation um, and then get me kind of like Share, share, sh sharing that 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 part part of me like helped him feel like a, a lot more co co comfortable in the situation. So that's my story for the week. <laughs>